um, this lesson deals with uh, effects of changing dimensions on different shapes. And so we're going to start with looking at uh, what happens when I change the perimeter and the area of this right triangle here. So uh, they want us to double the height of the triangle. So first we want to look at what it was originally before I do any changes. So the perimeter is going to be 3 plus 4 plus 5, which is 12 centimeters. Now, if I double the height, then this is going to change. I'm going to have to multiply by 2. And so my height is going to be 8 centimeters instead of 4. But now this was a right triangle, so if the height's changing, that means this hypotenuse is going to change as well. Um, you, I can use Pythagorean theorems to solve this, so that's going to be, this is going to change to uh, the square root of 3 squared plus 8 squared, which is 64 and 9, that's going to be 73. Centimeters. And so the perimeter now is going to be 8 plus 3 plus the square root of 73, which is 11 plus the square root of 73 centimeters. And so this is going to be, if I round it, it's going to be about 19.54 centimeters. And so I want to compare the 12 centimeters with the 19.54. So I'm going to do 19.54 minus the 12, which is about 7.54. Or, uh, centimeters. Okay. So the perimeter changes by seven and a half centimeters. All right, so now let's look at what happens to the area um, of this shape after we change it and double the height. Uh, to do that, remember that the area of a triangle is one half base times height. And in this case, or, or in all cases, the base and the height are always perpendicular to each other. So it's going to be one half of three times four. That's going to give us our original area, which comes out to be 6 centimeters squared. Okay. Now, once I double the height, remember that this is going to change now to 8 centimeters. So the area of the new triangle is going to be 1 half of 3 times 8, which is 12 centimeters squared. Okay. So now I'm going to compare this one to this one. All right. And then, so, um, if I look at 12 compared to 6, uh, and I reduce that, that gives me 2. So that tells me that the new area is twice as big as the original area. Uh, so now we're going to look at what happens with um, the perimeter and area if I change more than one dimension. So I'm looking at doubling the length and tripling the width. So um, still the same thing, I want to look at the perimeter and the area and see how it changes. So the perimeter of this rectangle here is going to be 2 times 6 plus 2 times 7, okay, which is going to be 26 meters. Now, if I double the length, um, that's this part right here. So my new length is going to be 14 meters, and I triple the width, that's going to be 18 meters. And so now my new perimeter is going to be 2 times 18 plus 2 times 14, okay, which is going to be uh, 64 meters. So if I look at the change of these two, I do 64 minus the four, uh, 26, excuse me, and then that's going to be 38 meters is the difference, or how it changed. Uh, so now let's look at what happens with the area. Okay, so the original, or just the formula of a rectangle, is length times width, base times height. Um, so in this case, I'm going to do the area is equal to 6 times 7, which is 42 uh, meters squared. All right. And then if I do the same thing, if we double the length, so let's say that this is going to become 14 meters, and this becomes 18 meters, my new area is going to be 18 times 14, which is 252 meters squared. And then so I want to look at, okay, how is this changing? Since I'm multiplying this stuff, I'm going to look at 252 over 42. 
And if I reduce this, um, 252 over 42 is going to be 6. All right, so the effect of me doubling and tripling the length and the width, respectively, is going to be 6, or a factor of 6. I'm multiplying by 6. I'm taking the 42 times 6, and that's going to give me the 252 meters. All right, so now we're going to look at what happens if I change all of the dimensions by the same number. So on this one, um, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the perimeter and area like we've been doing. Um, but then I'm going to change them all by the same number. I'm going to double all the dimensions. Okay, so first let's do the perimeter of the original. Okay, so if this is 10, this is 10 and 5 and 5, so that's going to be 2 times 10 plus 2 times 5 which would be 30 meters. Now if I double all my dimensions, that means my 10 is going to change to a 20. My 5 is going to change to a 10. Okay. And then we can go ahead and my 4 would change to an 8. But as far as perimeter, uh, first we're going to do that. We're going to do that one first. So I'm going to do 2 times 20 plus 2 times 10. Okay. That is going to give me 60. Now, if I look at the area, the area of the original is going to be 10 times 5, which is 50 meters squared. If I double my dimensions, so I'm going to do 20 times 10, that gives me 200 meters squared. Okay, so when I change all my dimensions by a factor of 2, I'm multiplying by 2. Uh, my perimeter doubles, my area quadruples, okay? And so this times 2 thing ends up being called our, it's our K, which is our scale factor. Okay, I saw dimensional change. So... My perimeter, I'm going to multiply that by some factor k. My area, I'm going to do k squared times the area. Okay. It also has to do with, if you think of it as, as far as powers, exponents, this m right here is to the first power. When I'm dealing with area, I'm squaring it. So that's why here I'm multiplying k times to the first power times the perimeter. Here I'm multiplying k squared times the area.